Good morning. Hello, everyone. The setting is different. Um, we've got up this morning at quarter to three to drop a friend off in Newcastle who's getting an opportunity, a lift up to Gauteng after she has visited this past week. So we left at uh, quarter, before, quarter to four. four. Yeah, it's a 100 kilometer drive from where we live at Tavakop to Newcastle and it goes through the Majuba Pass which is quite a long mountain pass, quite a, a very, um, quite a gentle one but a long one mm. and it was, there was a lot of fog um, and quite a lot of traffic, I was surprised for that time of the morning. Mm. So it was all sort of eerie going through the the, the, those um, plantations and the woods in that area um, yeah so we were feeling that we're on an adventure really mm. it was quite um, something else and over this period the holiday season where you either go on holiday or visit family or friends new settings we were talking about the whole issue of going on an adventure or experiencing an adventure and how it is often tied into situations where we in a new setting where we're not quite as familiar as to how things will unfold and it's not as predictable as our uh, normal. normal life at home mm. um, and the whole issue of adventure mm. Mm. And what we see as adventure, mm. and and how we, I think the main thing is is how we approach life. I, often we we don't see a, a, a trying thing that say we are we going on a, a overseas trip and all of that the planning the the itinerary the catching the planes and being on time all of that can be very stressful mm. and um, you on high alert all the time. Mm. Um, very present because you can't you need to 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 keep to the, the 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 what you need to be doing but I think it's only maybe afterwards that you look back or maybe when you tell somebody about your trip that you would say well that was such an adventure and normally when something goes a bit wrong mm. not maybe seriously I think it's terrible when they are really bad things happen when you have to be bailed out yeah, or something or like that yeah or you lose your passport or and and you but generally there's here and there these things that happen that when you look back on the situation or even years later you can laugh about um like the the time we couldn't couldn't get the the the, the suitcase the, the suitcase open with the lock the the pre-coded lock and ah uh, you know, so there's always something, and but those are the things that actually you think back on, and that becomes part of uh, why you see something as an adventure. Mm, I think uh, back to a trip that I had uh, in Scotland, where I got totally, totally lost <laughs> in Glasgow, oh. and I was asking this uh, teenage boy uh, coming uh, from the front, and I showed him the the address that I was looking for and I said sorry I'm lost can you tell me where this address is and he looked at it and he said in his heavy Scottish accent sir I don't have a clue but you're close uh, <laughs> wherever that is often we don't have a clue but we're close uh, yeah. Yeah, and I do think that we actually, um, the, we are actually the ones ourselves that decide whether it's something that is an adventure or just a nuisance. A nuisance, or uh, so it also has to do with our um, attitude, stance, our attitude towards something. Mm. I mean, we could decide that it's really not nice getting up at three in the morning, um, you know, but 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 we've never done that. We've never driven through that pass with the sun starting to come up and 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 spending time with our friend for the last hour before she leaves again um 
so it depends on how you decide to to, to view life yeah. as well yeah um, I'm, I'm thinking of Helen Keller's quote um, and her being deaf and blind from the age of 19 months she lived to be I think 86 Excuse me. and um, what she said is life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all mm. Um, mm. and that really shakes one a bit because for her everything must have been a real challenge mm. and so much is tied up in that quote because when you enter into an adventure into something that is out of the ordinary where your normal coping skills aren't necessary necessarily the things that will carry you through you become creative you become alert you become open to help from other people mm. Um, mm. so so many things come into play that when we go on our daily business that's more of a routine those things aren't as visible or pronounced or yeah and it doesn't really stretch you that much mm. um i think there's there's a lot to say for routine and uh, and rhythm to life mm. i think it's important <clears throat> yeah but uh, it can also be deadening mm. um so just to even in in our normal day-to-day -day life i think small things can be an adventure to sit and 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 look at ants or um I always think how amazing it I often say to George I look at plants that grow so fast that if I had the time to sit and look at them they mm. would actually be growing in front of my eyes and mm. I think that's truly an adventure mm. to see that um, but but even because this past week with Doreen visiting the cottage is a little bit too small for three people so we slept in the retreat house and then every evening because it was so rainy and overcast and so on so quite a few evenings we would walk through the rain and the puddles to get to the retreat house it can be an adventure to experience your home and your surroundings your yard or the place where you live at strange times of the day mm. get up at two and see what is happening in your garden. Sleep in a different room. Yeah. Go out and look at the stars. Um, I, I think what, what makes an adventure also really something that you remember is that you feel very alive. Mm. Uh, mm. It makes you feel alive. You're aware of what's happening around you. Mm. Mm. Um, and we are talking about adventure over this holiday period because there's a lot of traveling often involved and new settings, um, visiting vacation destinations or family or friends or whatever. But if we look at that quote by Helen Keller, it definitely applies to life. And yeah, as you yeah. said, that stands to life. Um, uh, new situations and the way we approach life uh, as to not be so prescriptive not to be and in control so and to be in control if we look back at this year this past year and the the talks that we had the recordings that we did the blog posts I think one of the themes that surfaced the most was the issue around control and how we live controlled lives and try to be in control and try to be in control and we live under the assumption that that is what is keeping us safe but it is also very limiting mm. and it makes for small lives um, where we're not that open to the help of others, to creativity, to adventure, uh, to experiencing new things. Mm. Um, and also experiencing God in a different way. Mm. Um, so over this period of, of rest 
and of travel and of visiting. May it be a, an adventurous uh, time and we hope you had an adventurous year and also the year lying ahead but mostly that you rest over this period as well. Yeah, we would love to hear um, what you're all doing over this season and um, have a really good time. Keep well on that side. Goodbye.